going to be determining the Ka value of, of weak acids in this lab today. We're going to start by putting our unknown sample of A into the speaker. And we're going to dissolve this in 50 milliliters of distilled water and add some phenol phthalene so we can begin titrating. We gotta swirl around and make sure it dissolves. <laughs> I'm adding three to four drops of phenol phthalene to our solution. Four drops. And I'm also going to do this a second time, so we'll have a second time. We're going to begin titrating with our 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. This is our sample one, and this is our sample two. 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide drop wise to our samples until it reaches the end point which is when our samples will turn a faint pink color. We'll put a piece of paper under here so we can see the color change. Can you see it? need to make sure it's completely dissolved. And we have to continue swirling to make uh, to make sure, it all, to make sure all of the sodium hydroxide is in solution. All right, now we're about to begin titrating. <laughs> Starting we'll start with, with sample, sample one, and Will is going to continue to swirl it as I add sodium hydroxide, so that we make sure it uh, completely mixes in all the sodium hydroxide. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's turning a slight pink color every time I drop the hydroxide. Stay a little longer uh, from each drop. To this beaker, and we'll continue swirling it to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. We'll begin to titrate our second sample now. And it's a slight pink color. It's slightly lighter than the other one, which means we probably titrated it just slightly less, and this one we may have overshot just a little bit. Now Libby's going to pour it back and forth between the beaker and the Erlenmeyer flask to make sure it's completely and thoroughly mixed.
now that we've finished titrating all of our samples, we will find the pH using this digital pH meter. Right now, I'm um, trying to get it to uh, recognize the water is seven, so I can, uh, I guess, equalize the pH meter. Alright, now that it's calibrated to recognize water as 7, which is completely neutral, I'm going to take the pH of sample 1 of our unknown A. Well, right now it's reading slightly basic, so we think we may have over titrated it. It's uh, at 9.14. Right. Now I'm going to place this back in the water so I can make sure I've rinsed off all of the that solution. All right, we have unknown A sample two, and I'm now reading the pH. Nine point two one is what it settled on. Okay. And now I'm going to rinse back off in the water. We'll find the pH of sample one of unknown E next. The pH is settled on 8.62. We'll rinse this again. And we'll start here. Um, unknown E sample two. This one is settled on 8.45. Alright, and that's it.